Okay, so here now I am at the end. Notice ended up one here and one there. So again, there's 14 on the top and 13 on the underneath side. And again, at this point, you want to double check and make sure that none of the cords are overlapping, that they're all right beside each other. Check the back side to make sure that they're all correct also. So I'm just going to tie this off here um, because now I'm going to remove the string that's holding the two buckles together. And if you've got a good string that you've been using, you might want to save it. So rather than cut it, I'm just going to go ahead and, and uh, remove it. So I'm going to go ahead and start my weave. So it's easy if you put your hand in between the strands and just start off with the first outside one. I'm going to push it down, go back, up and down, and up and down, up and down, up. It's just like weaving. So you always want to make sure that you're grabbing the one directly underneath. You don't want to get out of sequence or it won't look right. So there I brought it through. Now I'm going to um, stick my cord beater in here. I'm going to beat it down. Again, this is shown on page 68 of the How to Braid Quality Custom Tack Book. And so with this end, you're going to run it through. And you want to make sure that these are down tight against the buckle. And pull it just tight enough, but you don't want to tight it, suck it in so much like that that you totally distort it. You just want it to be nice and straight. Okay, so now I'm going to take this out, and so where I've got this little um, rod through here, I'm going to insert my beater and pull it down. And you want to make sure that those are all nice and snugged up. You can do this by standing it on the floor and beating it down. I'm kind of on the table. It's a little more difficult. So now that I've gone through, now I'm going to run the cord back through. Beat that down. And then I'll repeat that step of the weaving one more time across with this and then back. <laughs> 